My name is uh, Richard Kane, and while in Iraq uh, in 2005, I had two confirmed kills while overseas in combat. Um, they happened on May 11th, uh, 2005, just happened to be Mother's Day. Um, we were in the, up near the, uh, your, or up near, it was New Ubaidi, Iraq, up near the Syrian border, and we were originally supposed to have security for the army to set up a bridge for everybody to get over across the Euphrates River. And uh, we started taking small arms fire and incoming mortar fire in the middle of the desert about three, four o'clock in the morning. And uh, we started clearing through a small town near Ubaidi while we were over there and uh, going house to house, rooftop to rooftop, just clearing through, uh, trying to pinpoint where the shots were coming from um, and find the insurgents. And it, we, my platoon or my squad actually got to the second to last house. I was actually jumping rooftop to rooftop, uh, providing the overwatch and um, checking the backyards, providing overwatch for my fire team while we, they were clearing through the buildings down below. And uh, we got to the second to last house where a uh, firefight broke out into the building directly behind where I was providing overwatch for. And our first platoon, or second platoon, or squad that was clearing through that side of the town, actually, the second that they ended up trying to um, gain entry into the house, they were they were fired upon from inside the house by three or four insurgents. And after they initially gained entry to it, there was two of the insurgents actually came out of the back of the house into the backyard where I was providing the overwatch for. And that's when I engaged the insurgents and ended up dropping two of the, two of the four, two of them ran back inside. The two confirms that I had uh, my platoon sergeant at the time, um, Staff Sergeant uh, Goodwin, he, that was the last, last words that he actually said to me was he went, he went out back of the house when they were clearing through the house. Um, they had ruled that the house was cleared. And he came back through the house and uh, he, he confirmed the two kills and said, Kane, you did a good job. You you have two confirmed kills. And he went back into the house and he went to a closet that was up underneath of the steps in the house. And that the second that he tried to open up the door, that's when the insurgents fired upon him and actually witnessed him getting shot in the chest and one um, just right above the neck area, right, right in front of me, probably about uh, probably 20, 30 feet in front of me, and there wasn't a thing that I could do about it. Uh, he did pass. Um, he was pronounced um, uh, KIA, killed in action. At that particular time, it really didn't affect me, but after my fire team got up to the, the rooftop with me, and they started providing the overwatch. I sat down in a corner and just sat there and thought to myself, I can't believe I just took two lives. And I mean, I really don't think about it too much these days, but I mean, at, at that particular time, that was the only thing I went through my, I kept going through my head was I can't believe I took two lives while I was over there. When that happened in 2005, it, I was 20 years old when that happened. I just had a birthday last month. I'm 35 now, so 15 years later. Um, I mean, I tell my story now. It really doesn't affect me with what had happened 
while we were over there. It doesn't really affect uh, the way I live my life or my thought process of anything that happened while we were over there. I actually tell my story and I think that actually helps me cope with reality. This is Genevieve. This is, this is my youngest daughter, about to be 10 months old. <laughs> like, I'm not ashamed of anything that I did while I was overseas. Um, a lot of people ask me, they're like, well, how, how does it make you feel that you, you took somebody's life? And I mean, as much as I hate to say it, and it's not really politically correct to say it, it's, they were shooting at me, I was shooting back at them. Uh, the way that I look at it is, I mean, it's, it, it's a job while you're over there. I mean, you're protecting the country, you're protecting the place that you live. I did not celebrate Mother's Day for probably the first five years after coming home from Iraq. And my, my mother actually understood. Um, and, but I mean, now I, I celebrate Mother's Day just like everybody else. <laughs>